Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos una súper práctica. Es una entrevista completa. Vamos a abrir espacio para que tú puedas responder las preguntas y que te sientas como si ya estuvieras en la entrevista. En esta ocasión hemos colocado subtítulos porque vienen muchas personas nuevas que queremos que aprendan también. Si tú eres una persona más avanzada, recuerda, ignora únicamente los subtítulos porque en realidad lo que queremos es ver qué tanto te hace falta prepararte. Recuerda que si quieres prepararte lo mejor posible, tenemos aquí muchos videos en YouTube que te ayudan en tu preparación para responder esta entrevista y otras más. Pero también ofrecemos un curso en línea en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Este curso tiene más de 50 clases en un orden específico. Te vamos llevando desde lo más sencillo del proceso de ciudadanía hasta lo más difícil. También hemos repartido la información en diferentes módulos. Por ejemplo, tenemos el módulo de las preguntas cívicas, el módulo de la lectura y escritura, preguntas personales, N400, definiciones y hasta te ayudamos a aprender el juramento de lealtad. Podrás descargar audios y transcripciones de cada una de las clases como apoyo para que puedas aprender mejor la información. Así que ya sabes, si te gustaría prepararte lo mejor posible, adquiere nuestro curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. No olvides dejar tu like si este video te resulta útil y sobre todo estar suscrito para que no te pierdas videos en el futuro. Vamos a la práctica del día de hoy. Mucha suerte. Hi, my name is Officer Estrada and today I'll be conducting your citizenship interview. I forgot to ask you, can you please show me your appointment letter? Thank you. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Thank you. You can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Can I also see your permanent resident card, your passport and your ID? Just show them to me. Thank you. Now I'm going to ask some questions. Please put attention. What is your complete name? Are you going to change your name today? What other names have you used? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or do you otherwise ever serve in any other following? Prison or jail? Prison camp? Detention facility? Labor camp? Any other place where people were forced to stay? Were you ever a part of any group, or do you ever help any group, unit, or organization to use a weapon against any person or threaten to do so? Do you ever self-give or provide weapons to any person or help another person self-give or provide weapons to any person? Do you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary weapons training? Do you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age uh, to serve in or help an armed force or group? What is your height and your weight? Are you married, single, or divorced? What is your spouse's full legal name? When did you get married? Is your spouse a US citizen? Have you ever claimed to be a United States citizen? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Can you explain to me why you're not allowed to vote? Do you now have or do you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined into a mental institution? When did you become a permanent resident? And how did you get your permanent residency? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or another location in the world? 
Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party? Any other totalitarian party? A terrorist organization? What is a terrorist organization? Have you ever advocated either directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? How many times have you been married? Have you ever been divorced? Were you ever married back in your country of origin? Were you ever involved in any way when any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations. What is torture? Have you ever been involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Okay. What is a rebel group? Do you ever use any person of the th under 15 years of age to do anything that help or support people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted, and committed or attempt to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Are you familiar with the term arrested? Can you explain to me what arrested means? Thank you. Where were you born? What is your date of birth? What is your social security number? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government official to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefit while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? What do you do for a living? How long have you worked at your job? And what are some of your job duties? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you a male who lives in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthday? Uh, have you ever been a habitual or drunker? Been a prostitute or procuring one for prostitution? Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics. 
being married to more than one person at the same time. Marry someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit. Help anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally. Gamble illegally or receive income from illegal gambling. Fail to support your dependent or to pay alimony. Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States. What is your current address? How long have you lived there? And what is your previous address? Can you please spell the name of the street for me? Thank you. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? When you file your taxes, usually you file your taxes single or jointly. Okay. And usually when you uh, file your taxes, do you receive a refund or you have to pay taxes? Did you file your taxes this year? Okay. Have you been charged with committing, attempting to commit or assisted in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? When was the last time that you traveled out of the United States? And where did you travel to? Why did you take this trip? Okay. What date did you come back? Have you ever been placed in our itinerary sentencing or rehabilitated program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed in probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? How many times have you traveled out of the United States in the last five years? How many total days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? Do you know what are the requirements to become a U.S. citizen? Can you please tell them to me? Great. I'm going to ask you uh, 10 questions of the civic test. If you answer six correctly, you will approve this portion of the interview. First question, why does the flag have 13 stripes? What does the judicial branch do? What did the Declaration of Independence do? Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? What is the name of the national anthem? When was the Constitution written? Name one right only for United States citizens. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? Who was the president during World War I? Okay, now you're gonna do the reading and writing test. On this tablet, on this screen, you will see a sentence. Can you please read it out loud? 
thank you. Now we're going to do the writing test. You're going to write on the screen the following sentence. Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. Okay. Congratulations, you approved both uh, tests, reading and writing, and also your civic test. Do you support the Constitution and formal government of the United States? What is the Constitution? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? What is an oath of allegiance? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Okay, congratulations, you have approved your citizenship interview. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te fue en la práctica? Deja tu comentario qué otro tipo de videos te gustaría que hiciéramos para ayudarte en tu preparación. Y si quieres tener nuestra ayuda en tu preparación, ofrecemos nuestro curso en línea, cursosconfernando.com. No se te olvide dejar el like si este video te resultó útil y suscribirte para que no te pierdas los videos en el futuro. Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, mucha suerte. Si no la tienes aún, no te preocupes, sigamos trabajando juntos para que estés bien preparado para ese día tan importante. Nos vemos en el próximo video. Chao.